thank you very much for the introduction. Uh, it's a great pleasure for me to speak uh, at this uh, workshop. And uh, uh, professional attachment models were mentioned uh, already several times on this conference. And uh, now I'm going to uh, discuss a general approach to preferential attachment models. And this uh, talk is based uh, on a joint work with my colleagues, uh, Alexander Ryabchenko and Igor Samosvat. So let me start with a plan. So first, uh, I, will discuss, uh, I will discuss preferential attachment-based models and uh, a general class of models. Uh, then I will present some experimental illustrations and theoretical analysis uh, of the general case. And finally, I will talk about uh, open problems and some directions for future research. So let me start with uh, uh, the properties uh, I am interested in today. Uh, basically, I'm, I'm interested in two uh, basic and well-known properties of real-world networks and web graphs. The first property is the power law degree distribution. So, as you know, this means that the number of vertices of degree d uh, decreases as d to the power of minus gamma, where gamma is usually less than two, uh, uh, greater than two and less than three for real-world networks. Uh, the second uh, property is uh, large clustering coefficient. So uh, there are several definitions of uh, clustering coefficient in the literature, and today I am interested in two of them. Uh, the first one is a global clustering coefficient, which is just uh, three times the, num the number of triangles divided by a number of pairs of adjacent edges. So basically this means that if we choose a random uh, pair of adjacent edges, then the probability that three vertices form a triangle equals to equals this clustering coefficient. The second definition is average local clustering coefficient. Uh, so first we define the local clustering coefficient for a given vertex. Uh, so we, we just divide the number of edges between its neighbors by the number uh, of pairs of neighbors. So now if we pick a random vertex in a graph, then the probability that two its random neighbors are connected uh, is equal to this average local clustering coefficient. So these two definitions um, may uh, seem quite similar, but as I will show for preferential attachment graphs, uh, these two clustering coefficients uh, significantly differ. So now I will define uh, what we call uh, generalized preferential attachment, and I will start with this uh, idea suggested by Barabash and Albert. Uh, so uh, we start with a small, some small graph, and at each step we add the vertex and the M edges, and the probability that a new vertex will be connected to some previous vertex, uh, let's say I, is proportional to the degree of I. But, uh, uh, Molobash and Riordan, uh, they uh, showed that uh, this is not a model, but uh, some condition for the model. And so they proved that uh, if we have some uh, monotone uh, growing function f satisfying some conditions, uh, that it is possible to uh, suggest a model for which, uh, for sufficiently large n with probability 1, we will have this number of triangles. So these conditions are uh, not enough to define a model. And as I will show today, uh, this is an advantage of this approach. So it is possible to prove some theorems not defining a model precisely. So it is possible not to define correlations between them edges we add at each step and still prove some theorems. Can you give us some intuition about the theorem? So what, how many triangles can you achieve if I want to get as many as I can using this condition? So uh, for, for, for example, so today I will uh, present some examples of uh, models which actually satisfy this condition and uh, they have different number of triangles. So basically uh, you can, at each step for example, you, could, you can add a triangle just just you can say, let uh, at each step, uh, let's add 
uh, two, two edges and a triangle. Uh, so, uh, so to form a triangle at each step. And then this simple model will still be belong to this class. But now we just ha like we have exactly n triangles at nth step. So we can just uh, yeah, we, we can just suggest such a requirement to get any number of triangles. So uh, and now I will formalize this idea of Rabash and Albert and uh, uh, suggest the following uh, class of models. So again, we start from a small graph, and at each step we add vertex and uh, m edges, and we want the following condition to be satisfied. So uh, the probability that the degree of some previous vertex i uh, increases uh, by 1 equals this expression. So it is basically proportional to the degree of i plus some constant, and we allow some error term. So actually, it will not affect our final results. But uh, because of this, a lot of models uh, previously proposed uh, will belong to this uh, class of models. So also, we want the following condition, uh, that the probability of adding a multiple edge is small enough. So it can be seen that since at each step we add m edges, uh, the following condition is satisfied. Uh, so basically, we have two param parameters now. It is uh, m, the number of edges, and a. And we can def uh, find b from this equation. So basically, if a, for example, equals 1 half, then here uh, it is easy to see that b should be equal 0, and then uh, we add uh, the probability to choose some vertex is proportional to its degree. So then, st like standard uh, bolobash yardan model, uh, will belong to this, this class with a equals 1 half. So also, uh, I will be interested in the following subclass of this class, uh, which is uh, uh, which uh, satisfy, satisfies so-called triangles property. So triangles property is th the following. Uh, the probability uh, at each step, uh, the probability to choose two vertices uh, is, is uh, equals this expression. So uh, what does it mean? It means that uh, it depends on whether there is an edge between these two vertices or, no or not. Uh, so this means that at each step, we add approximately d triangles plus some error term. So uh, if two vertices are connected, then the probability to choose both of them is d over m times n. And if not, then the probability to choose both of them is small. So it is a subclass of this general class. Uh, actually, it uh, it can be shown that it doesn't matter, but uh, here uh, e is the number of edges between vertices. So if uh, uh, we have some multiple edges, then the probability even larger. Yeah. But uh, still, we have uh, a small number of multiple edges. This will not affect this final result much. So now I will present some examples uh, of some models which belong to this class. So let me start with this uh, uh, well-known model, which uh, was suggested by a lot of uh, authors. Uh, so we fix some parameter with start with, uh, we at, at each step we add one vertex and images, and the probability to choose uh, some vertex i at each step is proportional to the its actually incoming degree plus this constant. And it is easy to see that this model belongs to the class defined above uh, with a parameter d equals 0, since at each step we add small number of triangles. Uh, also, it uh, satisfies uh, this preferential attachment condition with uh, a equals 1 over 1 plus a. Uh, and also, here uh, it was proved that uh, we have uh, power law degree distribution with the uh, gamma uh, equals 2 plus a, 
and both global and global clustering, uh, it was shown that it uh, decreases uh, uh, as log n over n for a greater than one and as uh, log n squared over n for a equals one. So now the second model was suggested by Holman Kim, and the idea is to uh, increase clustering in the preferential attachment models. And so they suggested to mix preferential attachment steps with the steps of triangle formation. Uh, so what did they do? Uh, now again, we, we do the same. We add vertex with the images. First we uh, perform a preferential attachment step, and then when we add new edges, we may decide to uh, again make preferential attachment step with probability p sub t and or we prefer to make a triangle formation uh, yes triangle formation with probability p sub t and or preferential attachment uh, step otherwise so uh, what is triangle formation we just consider a vertex which we uh, took before and choose its random neighbor and add an edge to its neighbor so we just say that let's add a triangle. It can be shown that this model again belongs to pr this preferential attachment class. Uh, and now these triangles prop we obtain this triangles property with uh, D equals M minus one <laughs> times probability to make preferential attachment step. Uh, it can be easily seen. Uh, we also get preferential attachment condition with A equals uh, one half, uh, and uh, so we have power law with uh, parameter three. We it was shown by, Hol by Holman Kim that average local clustering is uh, a constant. It was shown by empirical observations, and uh, it is possible. So and it will follow from our theoretical results that global clustering coefficient in this in this case tends to, to zero. Uh, actually, uh, what? So you said that it was proven empirically that the average local clustering is constant. Uh, can you prove it sort of non? I mean, prove it in so our sense. So, so what we did for average local clustering coefficient, we just show that it is bounded by a constant, and it can be very easily shown that for this model, uh, average local clustering coefficient bounded from below by some constant. So it definitely, so we proved that it does not tend to zero in this case. And for global clustering, we obtained the behavior because it's usually much easier to analyze than the local. So next uh, I will, uh, let me show you another example. It is a random Apollonian network. It is a very interesting model. So at first we have three vertices, uh, a complete graph on three vertices. So we have a triangle. Then we add a new vertex uh, in the middle of this triangle, and we connect it to the vertices of this triangle. Then we choose a random triangle from these three and add more vertex here, one vertex here, and again uh, connect this vertex to the vertices of the chosen triangle, and we continue choosing random triangles and connect its vertex, uh, new vertex to it, its vertices. So finally, we get some graph. And again, this graph belongs to uh, our preferential attachment class. Now, triangle's property uh, is satisfied with the parameter d equals 3. It can be easily seen because at each step, uh, we add exactly three triangles. Also, uh, here we obtain preferential attachment condition again with A equals one half. Uh, why? Because now uh, the probability to choose one vertex at each step is proportional to the number of triangles adjacent to this vertex. And the number of triangles adjacent to this vertex is exactly its degree. So now the probability to choose vertex is proportional to its degree, and therefore we have but preferential attachment condition with parameter a equals one half. And we also obtain a power law with parameter gamma 
equals three, and we get again average uh, local co constant average local clustering and uh, uh, global clustering decreases. Also, uh, we suggested so-called polynomial model. It is uh, more general than what I will talk about now, but now I will just pre present an example uh, where we can both tune the parameter of uh, power law degree distribution and the clustering coefficient. So now I just want to present one, one simple model where we get constant, uh, also constant uh, global clustering. So we uh, consider uh, M to be even. Uh, we fixed three parameters, which are non-negative, and uh, the sum of these parameters equals one. Um, at each step, again, we add one vertex and the images. Uh, and now alpha, let's be, uh, so alpha is the probability of uh, in-degree preferential step. We just choose vertex proportional to its in-degree. Uh, beta is probability of edge preferential step. Uh, we just uh, consider random edge and side to its endpoints. Uh, and delta is probability of a random step, which has choose random vertex and uh, connect new vertex to the, uh, this one. So this uh, model again belongs to the class defined above. Uh, now we have triangles property with d equals to b times p. We just, uh, at each step, we have approximately uh, uh, p uh, approximately uh, uh, this uh, number of triangles. So we, we get uh, a preferential attachment condition with uh, parameter alpha plus beta over two. We get power law degree distribution. Uh, we get average local clustering coefficient constant if beta is greater than zero. And we get global clustering, we get constant global clustering coefficient if a greater than one half and it tends to zero if a less than one half. That's basically, uh, now uh, if uh, the parameter of power law degree distribution uh, is greater than three, is that then we get uh, constant global clustering. But otherwise, we have uh, small clustering, and I will show that it is the case for all models in this uh, uh, general preferential attachment class that it is impossible to get something better. So now I will present uh, some uh, experimental illustrations just in order to show what is going on here. Uh, here we generated this polynomial model with par some parameters alpha, beta, delta. Uh, so for, for example, uh, what is the behavior of global clustering? So we generated two models with the same parameter of power law degree distribution, but in one model uh, this uh, parameter beta is uh, greater than zero, in another one it uh, equals zero. And we get uh, uh, z zero global clustering if beta equals zero, otherwise we get uh, constant clustering. The same is for average local clustering if this parameter uh, gamma is uh, greater than three. Also, uh, if uh, this parameter gamma is uh, less than three, then uh, it is easy to see that uh, global clustering coefficient tends to zero, but average local clustering tends to some constant. And finally, this is the behavior of global and average local clustering if we uh, vary uh, the parameter of the, uh, of the model. So uh, here, if uh, a less than one half, this means that gamma is greater than uh, three. Now we have both, both constant global and local clustering, but when this uh, gamma becomes uh, smaller and smaller, uh, average local clustering uh, grows while global clustering decreases. So for preferential attachment models, the behavior of global and average local clustering, uh, they are actually quite different. So now uh, about theoretical analysis. So first, uh, I want to uh, show some results on degree distribution for the preferential attachment class. Uh, we just, so here we assume that this PA condition is satisfied. So let 
n sub n of d be the number of vertices of the degree d in our graph. And we can first, we can estimate the expectation of the number of vertices of degree d. Um, what do we have here? Uh, so the number of vertices of degree d uh, decreases as d to, to the power of minus 1, minus 1 over a. So we get uh, here power law degree distribution with parameter 1 plus 1 over a. Uh, so I will probably mention uh, some ideas of the proof. Uh, it is quite straightforward. Forward, uh, uh, so this uh, estimation can be approved by induction. So here uh, we have our PA condition. So here we have the probability that the degree of vertex of some given vertex of degree d uh, will increase by 1. And so we have this expression. We also know that the probability of uh, a mul multiple h is small, and the probability of adding a loop is also small. If we denote by p sub n of d the probability that a degree of, that a, degree of a vertex will increase, not, not necessarily by, by 1, but will increase, then we get the following uh, recurrence. So given a, gra uh, a graph at step i, we can uh, show that the, num that the expectation of the number of vertices of degree d at the next step will be just the number of vertices of degree d at the previous step times uh, the probability that this degree will uh, remain the same, plus the number of vertices of degree d minus 1 on the previous step times the probability that this degree will, uh, uh, will become l l larger, uh, plus some uh, small error terms. And so now we can take uh, expectation and uh, we can get uh, some recurrent uh, formula. And uh, us using conduction on both i and d, we can get uh, the estimation of this number of vertices of degree d. So now about uh, concentration. So it's possible to show that uh, if d is small enough, then the number of vertices of degree d uh, is close to its expectation, so this difference is not large enough. So although we allow any dependencies between edges we add at each step, it is possible to show that still uh, we have the concentration. So how it can be shown, I will just again briefly mention this. So as uh, usual, here we use Azumos inequality. Uh, so if you have a martingale such that uh, the absolute value of the difference between x sub i and x sub i minus 1 uh, can be bounded by some constant, then, we can, uh, sh then uh, uh, the absolute value of the difference between the uh, x sub 0 and x sub n uh, is not large enough. So now we just need a martingale. Uh, and as usual, we use the following. Let x sub i of d be the uh, expected number of vertices of degree d if we are given some gr gr graph at uh, ith step. Uh, so it can be easily seen that it is a martingale. And uh, x sub 0 of d is the expectation of the number of vertices of degree d. And x sub n of d is the actual number of vertices of degree d. And this difference can be estimated. Uh, and it is uh, less than m, m times d, where m, m is some constant. So for example, for standard uh, preferential attachment models, this difference can be bounded just by constant. Since uh, we can at uh, i step, we can influence just uh, some constant number of vertices, and this will not affect all other. And now we don't know anything about uh, uh, the effect of these adding cages. But still, we can get some estimation, but it is not a constant, and now it's constant times d. So a few words about this, how it can be proved. So now what we want, we want to estimate the difference uh, between the expected number of vertices of degree d, we get finally. Uh, if we have some uh, two graph at i step and uh, uh, i plus 1. 
And so let uh, so we define two graphs. First uh, is first maxim maximizes this uh, expected value, and the second minimizes. And uh, what we want we want to estimate this difference, basically. So, but for this delta, it is possible to uh, get the same recurrent formula. So. Uh, exactly the same as uh, we got before for uh, this, uh, the expectation of the number of vertices of degree d. Now we can get the same formula for this difference. And here uh, we uh, don't need anything about dependencies between edges. Again, we just need only uh, these uh, uh, probabilities. Probabilities to choose a vertex of degree d or probability to add a multiple edge, etc. So, and using this... Uh, uh, formula, we can estimate uh, this uh, delta, uh, this final difference, and we can esti estimate this effect of uh, this, ip this uh, ith step. So now I will say a few words about clustering coefficient. As I already uh, said, uh, this uh, average local clustering coefficient can be bounded by some constant. Why? Because at each step, we add like constant number of triangles. And we have uh, some constant fraction of vertices of degree m in our graph. So for these vertices, we have constant local clustering coefficient. And since we have a lot of such vertices, we can estimate this final clustering coefficient, uh, and it should be greater than some constant with high probability. Uh, situation with global clustering coefficient is much more interesting. So what we should do to get global clustering, we should first estimate the number of pairs of adjacent edges, then the number of uh, triangles, and finally get clustering coefficient. So uh, for the number of pairs of adjacent edges, p sub 2 of n, uh, it is possible to prove that uh, p sub 2 of n uh, grows linearly with n if a is less than 1 half. So if uh, the parameter of power law is greater than 3. So if it's greater than 3, then here we have linear growth. If a equals 1 half, then we already have uh, n log n. And if, uh, a great if a greater than 1 half, then uh, p2 of n uh, grows as n to the power of 2a. But the number of triangles uh, grows linearly. So when we finally divide the number of triangles uh, by the number of pairs of adjacent edges, we get the following. Uh, so if our parameter of power law degree distribution greater than 3, we get constant local clustering coefficient. Uh, uh, otherwise, clustering coefficient decreases. So uh, what did we get? Uh, if we consider this all class of preferential attachment models, uh, uh, if it is impossible to get uh, constant global clustering coefficient for the most interesting interval between two and three. So it is just uh, some example. We, so we have this problem. We don't have, uh, but in reality, we have both uh, constant uh, local and global clustering coefficient. And it was shown empirically. And what is the problem? And it, it turns out that the problem is that the number of triangles goes faster than linearly. And in our preferential, and when we add m edges at each step, we cannot uh, uh, solve this problem. So it can be shown for some uh, real networks that uh, both number of triangles and number of pairs of adjacent edges goes at n, as n to some power so faster than linearly. So finally, what did we get? We get that this uh, uh, general preferential attachment models, which uh, I described today, uh, uh, it is possible to get any power law degree distribution here uh, with any parameter greater than two. It is possible to get constant average local clustering coefficient, and it is also possible to get constant uh, global clustering, but only for the case uh, where 
uh, the parameter of power law degree distribution is greater than three. So what is possible to do here uh, to solve this problem? There are a lot of ways to do this. Uh, here are some of them. Uh, for example, we can, uh, uh, we can add some random number of edges at each step in order to change this uh, thing about uh, linear growth of the number of triangles. Uh, we can add some uh, growing number of uh, edges at each step. It uh, again can help us with this problem. Also, we can add uh, edges between uh, uh, some uh, old existing nodes. And this can also help us to increase uh, the number of triangles. And so the basic idea uh, is that uh, it is not always necessary to define the model precisely, and it is possible, for example, to uh, analyze some of this uh, model in general conditions. So, so to define only some conditions and then prove theorems. And it is not necessary to prove theorems for each uh, uh, defined model uh, as it was done before for preferential attachment models. For example, all the results were obtained separately and independently for a Polonian network, uh, for home Kim model, and other models. So th this is all. Thank you very much. Yeah, so you yeah. you always have a good local clustering coefficient in your model. Yes. But, but your global clustering is only good if the power law is at least three. Yes. And in Twitter, the power law is 2.3. Yeah, yeah. But it has a lot of triangles. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So uh, in, this, in this class of uh, uh, preferential attachment models, I considered uh, at each step we add only uh, some constant number of edges. Mm. Right? So this number of triangles cannot grow faster than linearly. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and yes, uh, this uh, model cannot cover the most interesting case, but not of so, uh, there is no preferential attachment model where we add M edges which can uh, have this clustering coefficient. So yes, we need to consider other models, maybe in some general conditions, but in order to cover this case. But Twitter's still um, still sparse, isn't it? I mean, it's a, a sparse graph. Yes, I but think we the average degree is twenty, is it, or something? Of, or? of course, but uh, uh, it can still be sparse. But uh, we can get more triangles if we change this construction process. For example, if we add triangles uh, and if we add additional edges between already existing vertices, we can change this situation, mm. and graph still can be sparse. Okay. So what we need to do, we need to keep the number of edges uh, growing like linearly, but try to increase number of triangles by any of methods. Mm. So you need a different generative model, really. Yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. So have you looked at some uh, models where sort of vertices might have some economic interest? Where uh, uh, here, no, no, not yet. Okay. Well, I guess then we thank the speaker again. Thank you.